I'm happy to be here to introduce you to the breathing book for oboe players. I've put together 30 lessons that I think help you to understand breathing and how it supports great music making. As oboe players, we have to do all kinds of things. Um, we worry about having a great read, but we also want to have a great sound. We want to be able to tongue fast. We want to move our fingers freely. We want to express ourselves through the music. We want to communicate emotion. We want to give a good A to start the concert with the orchestra. There's so many things we're worried about, but I've discovered over the years that at the core of everything we do as oboe players is how we use our wind. After all, the oboe is a wind instrument. So understanding breathing really helps us to improve every aspect of our playing. We can play with more color. We can play with better intonation. Uh, we can control articulation and phrasing to a much greater extent when we really understand how breathing works. So that's why I've designed this book and these 30 little lessons to help you to better understand breathing, the core of our playing as oboists. Some of the lessons don't have you playing the oboe at all. In fact, they're just designed to help you better understand how your body works and how breathing works. And so they're really about a greater awareness of the subtle movements we do all the time just sitting in a chair or standing up. So I hope you'll approach those lessons that don't have musical examples with every bit as much care as the ones that have more complicated musical examples. Um, and you're going to see some of the lessons just have you playing the reed by itself. And again, pay attention to playing that little toot on the reed and the effects that breathing bring to the sound of even a little sound on the reed because all of this helps to increase your awareness of how breathing works and then how you can bring that to the music later on. Once you've gotten through all 30 lessons, I hope you'll find it helpful to go back and repeat the lessons. With each lesson, you're learning a different aspect of breathing. So by the time you get to the end of the book, when you go back and repeat some of the lessons at the beginning, you're going to see and feel them in a very different way because of the new knowledge you've gained about how the total breathing mechanism works in relationship, how the different parts of you work in relationship to each other to create free and easy breath. So um, go back and do the lessons again. Maybe you want to transpose some of the musical examples in a different key, or maybe just replace the example I've given you with one of your favorite excerpts. Um, but I think as you go through them many different times, you'll find that you're going to increase your awareness and understanding of yourself, and this will improve your ability to make music overall. Thank you, and I hope you learn a lot from this. Enjoy the breathing book.